Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Math Rocks. Today we're going to talk about a game called NIM, which is going to be part of our math strategies games, which let me tell you, once you learn how to do this, you are going to have so much fun in math class, you're not going to believe you're actually learning. So without further ado, let's get started. Today, have you ever been bowling before? You have, oh, you have, good, good. Now in bowling, there are 10 pins. So I'm going to put some bowling pins up here just to take a little look at them and see what they look like. So we're going to start with our head pin right up there. And then, of course, after that, we're going to put two more up here. And then we'll follow that with three. And we'll finish it off with Mr. Red here. And that'll give us four in the bottom. What you have here is a typical basic NIM board. Now... To do this, you might have watched one of our other shows called Count to 20. This game is just like that. It has the same concepts, just that you can maneuver these chips. So here's some of the basic rules to NIM. We've got our board set up. What you're going to do now is you can take one or two, but here's the deal. It has to be from the same row. And in this one, I've given you colors so it's easy to understand which row you should take them from. So I could take this one blue one, I could take both of the black ones, or I could just take one purple, but I can't take a black one and a purple one because they're not in the same row. Remember, one or two, doesn't matter how many, but the goal is to be the last one to take the last piece. So, let's just pretend to play a game. I'm gonna call up one of the greatest NIM players of all time. Okay, maybe I'm kidding. They've actually never played NIM before in their life, but I'm gonna bring them up right now. So I would like you to give a big round of applause to Xander. Let's bring Xander up. Give a hand to Xander. And now remember, you can take one or two from any color, but not two different colors. That's against the rules. So, Xander, you can go first. You race one or two from any color. He is going to take the red. I am going to get rid of these two blues up here. <coughs> now Xander can take one or two. He is getting rid of two reds. Mm. Mm. I am going to take one purple. Now, Xander, sure. Now, he can't take this here. He can't take this. He can't take these two. But he could take these two. Well done. Now, I have the choice. Now remember, the winner is the person who erases the last one. I've got it right where I want him. Now, Xander. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm kind of in a situation here, aren't I? I've got to, oh boy, this is, Xander seems happy. Uh, I'm going to take this red one. Now, Z Z Xander, what are you so jumpy for? <laughs> Give a hand to Jan. Xander, what a job. Take them out all your fans. Nice job. See you later, Xander. Get out of here. First time player, he's a winner. That's how fun Nim is. Now, we're going to take you and show you Nim being played by everyday third graders just like yourself. Unless you're a second grader or a fourth grader, then they're different. So, we're gonna take a pause here, and we're gonna take you to some real live NIM games. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so now we've moved over to some of our tables, and you can see now what our NIM board looks like. Basically, I have a sheet of paper, and I've taken some Unifix cubes, and put them on the colors. Keeping the colors there to help them know which row to take from.
Hey Carson, what'd you think about the game? I could have won that game if I would have took one red. Hold everything! I think I saw a mistake! Let's go back and retrace what just happened! There you have it. NIM, a great math strategy game where you can think how to outwit your opponent into being the one who takes the last piece. Now, if you want to get more challenging, add a fifth row or a sixth row or change the rules where you could have up to three pieces taken. It's a never ending game that can never stop. Be creative and have fun rocking our math. For another edition of Math Rocks, I'm Professor Barnabas. And check out our other videos on math strategies such as Count to 20, Belly Math, and many, many more. We'll see you next time on Math Rocks.